Hey, Dreema, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for taking the time. Oh, thank you for having me. So, um, let me ask you this. How would you describe this series to someone who's never heard of it? It is about two characters that are diametrically opposed. Um, it's about myself, June. I moved to New York City for my dream job and uh, to live with my fiance, and I'm going to have a wonderful corporate apartment, and everything's falling into place, and all of that um, basically goes to shambles. And I am forced to find a roommate who seemingly seems wonderful and a lot of fun, but she's actually a total con artist and is a bee, and you can't trust her. <laughs> so what attracted you to the role of June? Um, there are a lot of parallels between she and I. Uh, I first moved to New York City when I was 17 and was very bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and really saw the good in things. That's a nice way of putting it. And uh, um, I just thought she was quirky and fun, and there was definitely a real chance for her character to evolve, and that's exactly what happens over the season. And, you know, I just fell in love with the part and the people and everything. And then I signed a contract, well, so they are stuck with me. <laughs> so speaking of the people, how was it working with Kristen and James? Wonderful. Um, they're very talented, very funny people. They play sort of these narcissistic, crazy people that are somehow still likable, and you still want to be friends with them, but they're totally insane. And then I'm total, I'm like the sane scope into their crazy world. <laughs> and. Uh, so what you shot, I believe, uh, 12 episodes already, right? Yeah, we did 13 altogether, 13 including altogether. the pilot. So, yeah, yeah. So, so what can you tease about the um, uh, upcoming episodes? It's not what you think it's going to be. I mean, a lot of people think that it's just going to be like a constant back and forth between June and Chloe and that she's going to keep making my life difficult and um, that's what it's going to be. But it's really... It's so much more than that. Um, it's a constant tug of war. Crazy stuff happens. Every time we'd get a script, we'd be like, I can't believe we're allowed to do this. And it's written in the most humorous, um, wonderful, effervescent sort of way. Uh, it's not contrived at all. It's super funny. It's super relevant to uh, pop culture. And we're, we're pretty proud of it. So I hope that people like it as much as we do. So uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, I know that you said that there are some aspects of June that uh, you can relate to. Are there any aspects of uh, with Chloe that you can relate to? I would really like to think so. Um, <laughs> I would <laughs> like to think that I'm totally dynamic and I have a way with words and that I can, you know, kind of persuade people into doing what I would like them to do. So, yes, I mean, I suppose sometimes when I'm wearing a black dress, I'll look in the mirror and put my hand on my hip and feel a little sassy like Chloe. Um, <laughs> but then I'll fall while wearing heels. So I, I'm brought back down to reality very quickly. Ah, uh, damn reality. <laughs> so what do you believe makes um, the ideal roommate then? The ideal roommate. Oh, my gosh. Um, the ideal roommate is no roommate. I mean, think about it. Uh, <laughs> it's not really fun to share a bathroom with somebody because, you know, I mean, nobody wants to do that. Uh, it's not really fun to share living quarters with anybody. Um, but I actually did have a fantastic roommate that I met on Craigslist, coincidentally, which is insane. Which is good because mm -hmm. I actually have a positive story versus the negative story of our show. Um, but I met my best friend, like, on Craigslist. And it was four years ago, and she came to my apartment, and I was really sketched out because I was like, how am I going to meet a good roommate? But she's lovely, and she's a wonderful person, and we're still really good friends after living together for, I think, a year and a half. So... Well there, well, there you go. That's muy impressivo, I think. All right. Uh, just one final question for you. This is something we ask everyone we talk, we talk to. Okay. If you could guest star on any other TV show, which one would it be? Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Um, well, I would love to be on Modern Family. Obviously, it's a fantastic show. I don't know what I would do or what I would play, but I would love to be on that show. Um, uh, I'm a big fan of 30 Rock as well. Big fan. Um... And also, I'm a Real Housewives fan. I know that's probably not kosher in some circles, but uh, I love me some Bravo. So um, I would definitely love to be on Watch What Happens Live so I can give the rundown on how crazy I think the housewives are. <laughs> All right. Gina, thank you so very much, and uh, uh, good luck on the premiere. Thank you, Americ. Take care. Bye.